Welcome back everyone to another episode of Let's Play Sly Cooper and the Thieves Raccoonus. In this one, we are going to be finishing up with this area and actually defeating the boss, which is Miss Ruby the Crocodile. Um, yeah, there's gonna be a lot of fun stuff, quotation marks on fun stuff, in this episode. Um, oh yeah, there's that thing, remember that thing? Yeah, we fought that thing before. Now this thing's gonna do that. <laughs> it just, it just, I don't get how it's not breaking anything else. Alright, bye-bye. That's literally the only reason it's there, is to open up that, uh, that gate right there. Which is very weird, but it works, I guess. So here are the last levels of this area. Um, well, technically there's one more over here, but I skipped out on it accidentally. I'll go back to it. So here, um, there are, of course, guards in the middle. If I could unlock the cauldron's lid, I might be able to thrash their production and build up enough steam pressure to get launched up to Ruby's skull Yep, temple. that's that's okay, totally scientifically like proven. And the scientist is okay with it. What? In the shadows made by the masks so that the guards won't see you. Yeah, so we have to. So, um, basically just get ready and then get behind a mask, which the mask, that mask for, in particular looks pretty awesome. Like, that's awesome. That's, I don't know what else to say there. Like, I want one of those. Alright, they're sent into danger. Oh boy, I think I think I know which one this is. And if this is the one I think it is, then I think that this is one is terrible. <laughs> oh god. Okay. Oh my god, a green waterfall <laughs> overflowing of bones and body parts. I'm telling you, the health department's going to come down big time on this dump. Yeah, he, he went crazy. Okay, I guess we got hit there, or got seen there, which isn't good. So this area, um, well, this whole level is pretty damn short. Um, but the whole issue is that in this little section, we'll be dropping down here, like, multiple times. Because the way it's set up requires, like, a bit of backtracking every time. And that just, it, it's hard to describe, but you'll see in a second. Also, we got, like, a, like an evil fire koopa there. He just throws a skull at you. You know, normal stuff. The way to progress is up here. Um, to make this part faster, I will end up using, um, fast. <laughs> Redundant, yeah, I know. But I'll be using fast, uh, power up here. Because, um, I just, it just, <laughs> it gets so tedious at some point, so. You won't end up seeing it, but that's what I do. Uh, so now they're up here. You gotta be careful, there's these things. Um, these logs. They're bad. You'll take a hit if you step on them. Um, and then there's these, uh, the planks in between. Which, you could step on them once, so like one single jump there, and then, um, how did I get seen? Weird. Um, and then they'll break, so be careful on that. And of course I was like, well, can I hit it? You can't. The whole thing here is just, uh, get to the end here and disable the lights, and then it's best to go back and get any clues that you haven't got. So this little tiny section right here of the overhang is fine, but here comes the issue. If we look down, there's an enemy. Which I managed to not die. And we get this one, right? And then cut. So that means I just climbed up the whole thing once more, right? Well, we're not done yet. There's more. Um, I got hit into the log. you think that'd be spelled doom, but nope. I just don't like that it put, puts us right back in its view, which isn't fun. Oh, yeah, I guess I got hit twice there. It's not good. So what you should do is instead of going down there... I mean, you need to get the clues regardless, but you should probably go up here first. Uh, jump down and then kill that guy, and then you're free to get the clues without uh, being at risk. So, um, required, we've climbed up that section with the whole planks and everything twice so far, right? Well then, we have to also, um, drop down here. Oh, whoopsies. Uh, we have to drop down there and get those clues and then climb up again. And then we have to go over here, um, and uh, once again drop down to get uh, the clues that are down here. Which, you know, that's pretty easy. But you know what that means? We have to climb up a fucking gen. That's like a third time. And then we can finally move forward. It's a little bit ridiculous. Because then if you fall or die at any point, then you have to climb up again. And again. And again. And this isn't Groundhog's Day. It shouldn't be repeating this many times. It's stupid. Like, I know it's really just a bit of padding, because... Ah, fuck you, Sucker Punch, in your stupid game. <laughs> I like the game, but stop being stupid with it. <laughs> Look at all the security. This must be the source of all the disgusting green soup. Green soup. 
it's, ugh. Calling it soup doesn't make it any less disgusting. If anything, it makes it more disgusting. Here, I don't know why I'm being confused about this. Just disable the, uh, whatever you call it, the, um, stuff. Oh, hey, he broke the, um, candle. You have to jump from, uh, platform to platform to take out all, I think, like, four, five or so of those, and then you're free to move on. Suck it, Koopa. That's right. Pretty easy. It just looks daunting at first. So, right here. Uh, be very careful. Just don't, just don't die to those. You should be fine. The timing is super simple, but... <laughs> I, I've, I've wasted so many lives on that section, or th that kind of section. I don't know why, it just happened. Alright, and looks like we're short, but we're really not. I don't know why I was killing the candles. I was like, eh, just because. And then, all the way back over here, we are finally at the end. We got all the clues, and we're at the vault, so luckily no backtracking needed except for the required stuff that was earlier. The combination has to be five, seven, one. Awesome. But yeah, this level, it's so compact, it makes it annoying. Because <laughs> even right now, we're back over the main room, which... I mean, bravo, good, good job guys, you fit a lot into one level. But fuck you guys, because... <laughs> it's not fun, it's just... Uh, it feels tedious when I have to backtrack through the same section like three or four times. Required. Oh well. Anyways, slow. Uh, but now slow anywhere, so... Sonic, gotta go reasonably slow. Now this is just cool because now you could be like... Which I guess you could make some really cool action movies, videos, whatever, uh, with Sly. I was thinking, if there was some way to glitch yourself onto the... Onto this part here, you could totally just skip the entire level. Interesting, I wonder if that's possible. I'm sure it is. I'll have to try that. Or maybe it doesn't work because you have to hit the candle that was up there. Who knows? So, uh, that's that level done. And I think from now on we have um, two more levels, both of which are not the normal Sly Cooper levels. Yeah, so this one is a... Um, it's very similar to the underwater... Um, it, w it was in Sir Raleigh's place. It was with the submarine. Uh, but this time we're above water, and uh, you can see I did grind up for a a, um, a gold charm because this place sucks. So I skipped uh, Rally or not Rally, my bad, Bentley explaining it. But again, it's the the basic. Um, you move with one control stick, shoot with the other. That's it. Uh, the issue here is we have a bunch of ghosts, which again not very tough, but the amount of them can get a little bit ridiculous. And because we're moving, uh, it's third person over the shoulder, sort of, um, it can get a little bit difficult to actually see what's going on here. So like, I, I, I've died a few times. Whoever goes coming at me, but I, I'm looking like I'm shooting at them when they're about like, let's say 35 degrees from me, but I'm really shooting about 20 or so degrees. I, but I just can't tell because, um, it's just weird. But anyways, so that's the, the only sort of on rails like side-scrolling type of section, you know, where you're forced to go their um, pace. And from here on, um, we have to deal with this section, so <laughs> bravo to me for getting hit there. Um, there's a lot of these barriers, you can see, that I'm breaking. Um, they're, the, they're, they're just there to stop you from progressing. The whole thing here is, um, be very careful, right here. So, they'll spawn two sets of ghosts, so what you should do is edge off to one side, and focus on hitting the barriers while keeping the ghost away. Because that would both just walk into your field of view, sort of. And once you're free to, uh... Or once you get down the, the um, barriers, you should be fine to actually destroy them. I was just getting more for uh, the coins, because you get a bunch of coins from them. So that's... I mean, that's a thing. I'm surprised I didn't get hit there. I was I was getting a little too close. According to my paranormal scanner, that flowing soup is really highly charged ectoplasm. It's just got God damn Bentley, you're supposed to be the scientist, not <laughs> not the ghost fanatic. 
I was looking for another couple coins. I was like, let's just go backwards now. <laughs> How about that? There we go. And another charm and we're all good. So this place isn't super, super difficult, but I find it a little obnoxious with all the ghosts. Here, I think you could actually shoot over the railing, which might be beneficial. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure you could shoot over the railing from back there before that turn, and you probably could take out that ghost thing much easier. Same with that guy. I'm thinking there's probably a lot of ways to just speed this place up. Oh, but right here, they're like, let's just throw literally everything in front of you. And, and don't worry, you can, if you want to, just skip them. But you always run the risk of them hitting you from behind. It's not fun. And then, you know, the, the resist alms. We got the whole fucking... We got the bullshit here. <laughs> I'm surprised they didn't throw in extra, um, like, mortar guys or whatever, the, the Koopas. But here I am tr my, trying my damnedest to actually take out these things. Ugh, god damn it, I hate... It's just like, just d destroy already, because they take so many hits. I know what they're going for, and it's an interesting concept, but... <laughs> if you go through here and die, it's not fun, because you spent all that time for nothing. But it's okay. So, we got the key. And, uh, without any deaths. I mean, I did die once, but good enough. So, um, we're one step closer to being done. Um, almost done, actually, but uh, there's a little bit more. So, at this point, we would have been able to, I think, oh no, no, okay, there's this one, that's, okay, that's different. There's one other I forgot about, but, so this one, um, this one's, oh dear god, this one, just listen. All the hay and feathers in here, just looking at this place has got me breaking out in hives, but we've got no choice. That ghost over there contacted me on Spectre Wave Radio, and we've cut a deal. He's promised us a key if you can whack 50 chickens. <laughs> I them to make a big pot of gumbo, but he's scared of the bob toad roosters. Be careful, or they'll blow you to bits. Think you can do it? Yeah, I can do it. So the roosters here are stupid, and I hate them, and they're dumb. The chickens themselves um, are easy, but the roosters are the ones that cause issues. Um, because every so often you'll see... Uh, it's about to happen. Roosters will pop out with bombs. They make loud noises and then look different, so you can tell the difference. Right here. But the issue is, they'll explode. So what you need to do is keep jumping, and try to keep um, objects in between each, you and the, um, the roosters, and you'll be good. Also, I recommend sticking to one side, and wait until the um, roosters come popping out, and then move over to the other side. Um... Because uh, the, the chickens will actually start grouping up. You like, see a group of like five or so of them right there. And that makes for real easy pickings. But it's a little troublesome. Like if you run over there with the rooster, right as the roosters come out, you might be screwed. Um, but yeah, you could technically speed this up if you were to use fast. I mean, it wouldn't literally speed it up. The timer would go down just as fast. But it would make it faster in real time, which could be useful if, that's what you, if you don't want to sit here for too long. But you also run the risk of the roosters popping out and just exploding here real quick before you get a chance to react. Because everything moves faster. But there we go. That was like my third or fourth attempt. <laughs> Fuck that place. Um, and we got the key. I should have killed the extra chickens just because, but I decided to spare them today. Alrighty. So... At this point now, sorry, we would have been able to finish up, uh, unlock this place and go to the, the boss, but I forgot a level. See? I realized that right here. I was like, wait a second. <laughs> that's not right. Yeah, that's because there was that level I, I totally forgot about. Um, but what can you do? So this is actually a bit of a shortcut. It's, that's nice. I appreciate it. Um, but the level we missed is just past here. Again, very, very easy to miss because it's behind a gate, so you might not think to go over here. But once again, it's not a normal Sly Cooper level. This one is somewhat similar to the one we did before, um, on the, 
jet ski or whatever. Is by lighting all 25 tiki torches with the flamethrower on your swamp skiff. How the fuck would you even know that? <laughs> you're just calling, you're just saying bullshit at this point. Fire the flamethrower. Oh, and one more thing. You need fuel for the flamethrower, and the only source of oil are those piranha you see swimming around. Run them down with a boat. One fish fuels one shot. Hurry, you only have two minutes to get all the torches lit. This is so fucking stupid, I swear to god. It makes literally no sense. But, it's so arbitrary, it's like, alright, quickly, you gotta, you gotta go kill the elk. It'll give you... It'll, it'll give you the basketball, and you throw the basketball into the post office. At which point, you'll be given a coupon to McDonald's. And they'll buy me a slushie. It's like... Are you- what? None of that makes fucking sense. <sighs> so, this whole level is just weird. Um, but if you follow basically what I do, you should have an easy time. Basically, they like to group up. So, whenever you can, try to get five of them, or as close to as, as, as possible. And then go uh, use all your blasts, right? And try to uh, do it periodically, so you're sticking to one side than the other. Because you don't want to keep having to look around. Um, I don't do that too much. Like, I should stick to one side and basically go all the way around um, systematically, but it's okay. I don't think it's possible to get more than one Tiki lit in one blast unless you like spin very quickly, but I don't think it's, I don't think it's possible. Maybe though, who knows. Um, but yeah, it's, it's not very difficult. It's just the issue of um, if you keep, if you get one um, Piranha and then one um, Tiki torch and then repeat that, you're gonna lose because it's gonna take too long. So you definitely want to uh, um, do them in groups. Because right there I was able to get five easily. And then I'm free to uh, clear them all up. And uh, there we go. See? Not super difficult. And uh, to get the key, just dock your skiff right there, and we're good. He'll automatically jump out, so don't worry about dying. At least I'm pretty sure he automatically jumps out. Who knows? <laughs> I don't. So. We are finally done with this area, and now we're good to move on towards the boss. And the boss is actually a wee bit... Eh, not my favorite, but I don't know. I'm not sure how you're supposed to get through there. If, if you're not supposed to at all, you're just supposed to leave back through that way. But I'm not really sure. I, I was doing experimenting, you know, for science to see if you could break that for some reason. Oh boy. This area has a lot of different um, non Sly Cooper levels. Because it had the chickens, it had the one through the swamp, it had the tiki torches. Um, hell, even the final boss isn't really a Sly Cooper level. Honestly. It, this makes no sense. It's like, let's put the lid on, and somehow this is gonna make sense. No, that makes no fucking sense right there. And like this is anyways, this is a deadly dance. Um this first section, pretty simple. But first we gotta talk to her. I could feel that Cooper vibe coming. Most distastefully bad juju. Yeah, well you give me the creeps too, lady. Cooking up an uh, army. Also of look at Sly, they pastime. fucked up his colors in this whole level. <laughs> He's completely gray, like the entire time. By the way, I really don't like how Ruby sounds because she talks like this, and I find that really obnoxious. Also, I don't know why, but she's constantly like bouncing back and forth on her tail. I guess. Hmm. Like it makes it so I'll always remember her voice, but it's, that's not always a good thing, you know. So this section, uh, the mouth is closing and opening, so you gotta jump from molar to molar, I guess. Um, just being careful that you don't s stand in the points where you're gonna get hit. So right there, that was my bad. What you should do is wait for her to uh, do a um, a tail pound, and then hit, and then you're good. Come back here. You can't run away forever. Quite true. Quite true. Those roosters look really fucking Why stupid. Also, do they have scarfs? Servant? I want a scarf. You over here. All right. What's the catch? Again, he looks really weird because he's all gray. 
Just a little game I like to play with all my annoying guests. Why is everybody rude to guests? Well that makes no attention. sense. What do you mean? Well, I'll unleash my mighty mojo magic upon you. If you repeat what I do, you'll dodge it just fine. If not, you'll get zapped. <laughs> A little voodoo Simon says, huh? Sounds easy enough. All right, so this section is uh, very, very similar to um, Parappa the Rapper. Um, basically, <laughs> uh, she'll shoot out um, sound slash uh, button presses, and Sly Cooper will mimic them by making the noises. Sorry, just watching the shit. <laughs> it's a little silly. This first section is super easy. They're just introducing it. Uh, once you reach here, be careful. One ta uh, tail pound, and you should be f uh, just fine to move on um, to the next section. So, it's it's not fun, but basically, um, they'll start moving faster. And be ca very careful that you don't get mixed up and get them... I mean, your only real issue here is to get flustered. So if that happens, you're screwed. Because I've had that happen um, quite a few times in the first playthrough, and I spent over an hour here, because I just had issues to keep in the rhythm. But once you, you know, channel your inner Parappa the Rappa, or whatever, <laughs> you should be uh, just fine to uh, get through this. I like I, I like this section in terms of. Oh, by the way, they slow it down here just to fuck with you, which I like that. And also, you should uh, definitely do not try to judge how far they are from looking at them. Try to one they go down, down, down. Try to mimic that, because if you do that, then you'll be completely fine and you won't mess up. But if you try to do it visually, you'll have issues. See, that's what I was going for, and it works! So here, this is... I cut together two different attempts because... By the way, it, it's what I hate. If you fail this section, you'll move all the way back to the very first one. Right after the uh, bone... Or the teeth section. Also, they're getting a lot faster now. You can sort of tell, like, she's doing it faster here. And the music is also getting a lot faster just to get you flustered. But once you see the X, you're completely fine. Wait for one tail, um, tail pound, and you got her. You certainly got some rhythm, raccoon. But it won't help you none if you're fixing to go after the Panda King. Her mouth He's looks really weird. With a capital T. If you go poking around his stronghold in China, you're likely to get poked back. Yeah, well, if he's anything like the rest of you. And again, he's gray. <laughs> there we go. Ms. Ruby's done. Yay. Held notes from my pioneering ancestor, Slight in Common. His invisibility technique allowed him to steal from corrupt pharaohs and greedy noblemen. Right on schedule. Inspector Fox's arrival cued my exit. The production of zombies, made illegal in the World Peace Accord of 71, earned Ms. Ruby Latin hottie bus, big bars. bad voodoo mama. <laughs> While the gang and I, I enjoyed that. a few weeks in the tropical sunshine, working on our tans in preparation for our next caper. Alright, there we go. We're all done with that area, and we're ready to move on. So I will see you in the next episode. Goodbye.